In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up multiple units of measure. So from the file menu, I'm going to go down to Preferences and Company. And this is just to turn them on within the software. I'm going to click Units of Measure, and I'm going to check these boxes that I want to set them up, that I want them to print within the quantity field, and always display Units of Measure column. I'm then going to use the example they give here that we purchase in 30 pound boxes, however nails are sold in one and five pound boxes. So I'm going to just add here and I'm going to say 30 pound. Add another for five pound. And what will be our base unit of measure is going to be a pound. And I'm going to click save. I'm then going to add these to an inventory item and I'm going to set up a new item for nails. So I'm going to go to inventory, add, and I'm going to enter the item name as nails. This will be in the supplies department. And I'm going to click the units button over here. Our base unit of measure is of course going to be a pound. And we're going to say the regular price for one pound box of nails is $5. The second unit of measure off of that base is going to be five pound box. And we're going to say that has obviously five pounds, five of our base units in it. The regular price for this, we'll say they get a little bit of a price break here at $20 for a five pound box. Lastly, we're going to set up a 30 pound, and this is going to be the unit of measure that we purchase at only. So we're going to say that contains 30 base units, and we don't need to define a price for that because we won't actually be selling in 30 pound boxes. Then up here at the top, it will allow me to change these drop downs. I want to say that I usually order by the 30 pound. We're going to keep my order current or my current order cost here. That will be defined in the next video. We're going to talk about um, how units of measure are used in sales and on receiving vouchers. And I'm also going to select here the unit of measure I sell by. I usually sell by as a pound and save. And now we've got those units of measure set up for nails and they will be available on both when we are creating a sale and also when we're receiving items.